Hey guys, it's Anya, otherwise known as Pink Sweets here on YouTube. You can also follow me on Instagram at Pink Sweets with a one instead of an I. I always post close-ups of the looks that I'm doing on my Instagram. So, welcome to day 10 of Pinkoween. I've made it for 10 consecutive videos. So, uh, I'm starting this look off looking crazy already, but I have my wig on. You've seen this wig in a previous video as well. And I'm wearing my Jeffree Star Can't Relate shirt. I got it in a size large for those of you who want to know. Um, they do run fairly big. Um, not fairly big, but like they run bigger than true to size. So I'm glad that I got a large. Um, and also I have glitter brows on already. So I used the uh, Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Pencil in Chaos. And I've resharpened it because I'm going to use it as my eyeliner today. And then I used a mix of these two Urban Decay Heavy Metal Liners. I know this one is Distortion. I always forget this one, but I think it's called Amp. I'm not sure. But I just ran that through my brows. Um, the reason why is because today's theme is going to be ice cream. Um, I love ice cream. Um, that is like my one weakness. I don't like cake. I don't like cookies. I don't like brownies. I don't like any sweets like that, but ice cream, I get down with ice cream. So anyhow, um, Sephora did a collection with the Museum of Ice Cream, which has locations in San Francisco and New York. And I picked up some items from the collection. I did not pick up the entire collection, but I'm going to show you what I picked up. And that is what inspired today's look. So the first thing that I got, and I left it in the packaging because I just wanted to show you how it comes displayed. This is the Sephora Museum of Ice Cream bracelet. And it is so cute in this packaging. And the gummy bear, the sugar wafer, and I believe this popsicle are, um, one is a highlighter, one is a cheek and lip tint, and one is a lip gloss, I wanna say. So I think it's absolutely adorable. I cannot wait to wear it, and I'm really glad I got it. Um, I think that was $28, I wanna say. Um, the one item that I'm also not using in this video is um, the brush set. The reason being that I don't know if I'm gonna keep it. Um, I watched a review of a friend of mine, Jenny Soto, here on YouTube. And if you, I'm gonna link her video or her, well, I'm gonna link her video down below. I'm gonna link, link, link. I'm gonna link her channel up above. Um, and you can check out her video. She bought the entire collection. Um, and the brush set was just not, I don't know how to word it. It was not, um, well, I'll just leave it in the box. It was not the best. Um, so this is the brush set. It has sprinkles from the sprinkle pool um, in the handles. And then that in the background is actually like a clutch. And the sprinkles shake back and forth. It's really, really cute. But um, as she showed in her video, because she actually used the brushes in her tutorial, um, the brushes weren't the best quality, which is sad because Sephora does do great quality brushes normally. So that was sad. Um, and I did open the box at one point and feel them myself. And she's right. They don't feel like normal Sephora quality brushes. So, um, and for $64, I don't know that it's worth keeping. So I haven't decided, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to return them. There's a lot of other things that I'd rather use and review on my channel. And I just don't think that they'll, I think it'll be cute for display, but I don't think I'll use them. And last but not least, the thing I'm the most excited about is this. It looks like a sugar wafer. It's double decker and it has two levels. It has a cute mirror that sits up like this and it says Museum of Ice Cream times Sephora on it. And then this is the first highlighter, blush, and bronzer. The bronzers are shimmery, but I don't mind that because I don't mind a glittery face, but everything is shimmery. So if you don't like shimmer, it's not for you. I think, actually, I think this was $28. I think the bracelet was $38. And then the lower portion opens and it has like a gold. The other one was pink tone. This is a gold tone highlighter, a peachy blush, and a darker bronzer. Again, shimmery. So... I'm really super excited about this and I can't wait to use it. The only thing is I wish it smelled like ice cream, but it doesn't. 
So I'm going to do an ice cream girl style tutorial. So let's get started. So I'm going to do my eyes first. And for that, I'm really excited because I'm going to use, and this is why I didn't order the palette because it was between this palette and that palette. The palette that comes with the ice cream museum or museum of ice cream collection is like $48 and it was like in the shape of a popsicle cute, but it only had like 10 shades and I don't know. I like Sephora um, eyeshadows, but I just, I already own all those colors. So I got the Be Perfect Carnival palette uh, in collaboration with Stacy Marie, who is a makeup artist. So you open it up and it has a mirror, but it does not stay open. It has my favorite, let me get rid of that. And this is the inside and it has two highlighters, like a golden tone one, a pink tone one. The camera, I don't feel like is doing these eyeshadows justice, but I've seen tutorials done with this. Momo Mitchell uses this a lot and oh, I'm just so excited to dig in and try these. So let us do just that. So I'm going to use my Angel Eyes primer and I'm going to put that on my lids and then we're just going to jump right in. And, woo, I almost dropped my concealer and I need that. So the um, look that I'm doing is inspired by a look that I saw Katie Michaelis do. Um, I have recreated some of her looks before and I will link her channel as well um, in a card and down below. She just did this video. I'm going to switch it up and add some stuff to it just because I like to recreate tutorials, but I very rarely recreate them exactly. I don't feel like anybody ever really creates it exactly to a T just because, you know, we all have different makeup styles. So I'm going to go in with my Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer. I'm just going to let that sink in while we're doing the eyes. I'm so excited about the new Jeffree Star collection for the holidays. And also I heard on Trend Mood that he's probably going to be coming out or he is coming out with concealers and 52 shades of foundation. And um, that he's also coming out with, uh, gosh, what is it? Um, setting sprays and just all kinds of stuff. So I'm just going to swoosh that out of the way. I don't know how people with long hair do makeup tutorials. So I'm going to go in with the shade first without putting their hair up, um, which is called Mint, which is this beautiful turquoisey shade right there, like greenish turquoisey. And I'm going to put that right in here. So right in there. And Usually when people use this palette, they kind of stamp on the color and then later blend it out. So that's what I'm going to do. This is a Morphe, nope, this is a unique brush. I went to somebody's unique party and got it. Okay, that's so pigmented right off the bat. It reminds me of the pigmentation quality of... Um, like a uh, sugar pill, maybe even a little more pigmented, dare I say, than sugar pill. All right. So we're starting out like so. And then I'm gonna go in with the shade, the shade, um, should I go in with, yeah, I'm going to go in with Recharge, which is this beautiful, it is like a shimmery, looks like metallic-y, um, blue shade, like vibrant blue. And I'm going to put that right next to it. She used different, um, eyeshadows in her video too, so which proves that you don't have to do, you know, use or have the exact same stuff. I mean, I do have what she used as well, but 
I really wanted to use this palette, but you can get the same look doing different brands and stuff, so. Oh, that's so freaking pigmented. Okay. And then I'm trying to think if I want to stick with the same brush. Yeah, but I'm going to. I'm gonna go in with two brushes. I'm gonna go in with this one, but I gotta do my color switch. There it is. I need to get this black off of this brush. This is the Jaclyn Hill 32. It's like a pointed crease brush. Okay, I think that's good. And I'm gonna go in to this one first. With, or with this one first into the shade Wasted, which is like a purple. It's very close to Poison Plum from Sugar Pill. And I'm just going to put that in the outer portion. And then I'm gonna take this and load up my brush. And I'm just going to pack that on to the outer portion. And then we're just going to take a little bit more of the blue. And just so you know, this is probably going to be a longer video because we're doing a lot. You guys didn't tell me I forgot to put the purple on this side. Wouldn't that be cool if you guys could talk to me through the screen and be like, you forgot to put purple on the other side. Uh, so I will be doing a live fairly soon. Um, I don't know the exact time and day, but... I really want to do one soon because it looks like fun and I was also thinking about paranormal captivity is a channel um, and she has done this before a lot where she does like a Netflix and chill kind of video where she watches a video while she's live streaming I mean not a video a movie while she's like live streaming and she tells you ahead of time like what movie she's going to watch and you can choose if you want to watch it with her and you guys can interact while you're watching the movie and then she kind of sticks around and talks about the movie with her subscribers for a while afterwards so let me know if that's something that you you know would be interested in so this eyeshadow does have a little bit of fallout but that's okay um i'm gonna take my hopefully my be perfect no not my be perfect my LMR brush that I got in my boxy charm I was thinking boxy charm be perfect and I'm just gonna put some of my concealer on the back of my hand my makeup revolution concealer sorry I just took my hand in your face okay and I'm gonna cut the crease a little bit. I really like this brush for that purpose. I don't like it for anything else. I've tried it for packing on eyeshadow and I don't really feel like it works that well. But I like it for this. This doesn't have to be, well, I mean, it doesn't have to remove all the color is what I should say because we're putting a similar color on top. Not exact, but similar. And I'm going to do my foundation and stuff off camera because 
Otherwise, this video will be like two hours long. And I know you guys love me to an extent, but two and a half hours is a long time to watch anyone. So, I'm just kidding. It would never be that long. Well, I don't know. It's so funny. I just posted on my Facebook. Um, my friend JJ had done this meme on Facebook and it was like, what would your classified ad be if you were being, uh, you know, sold like on Craigslist or something. And it said for me, um, Anya free to a good home or free, you know, to anybody who will take her basically. And, uh, and it said, is your house too quiet? Well, you know, get this Anya and your problems will be solved. And I thought, well, that's spot on because I can talk. I can talk. Okay. Now I'm going to grab my Wet n Wild flat shader brush. No, actually I lied. I'm going to grab another blending brush. I'm going to grab my favorite blending brush of the moment. And that is the JH30, I think. And I'm going to grab Funky, which is the hot pink in the palette. And I'm going to that like on the outer portion and I know it's gonna look crazy at the moment but we are going to um, we're gonna you know what I'm trying to say remove the fallout and whenever I don't use tape I always do this method because it always just makes it work really well. Like it makes it much easier when you drag the eyeshadow out. That is a pink, let me tell you. Hmm. Okay, need to go up. A little bit higher on this side. I'm just re-intensifying the shades a little bit, but bringing it up just a little bit because I have it a little bit higher on the other side. Easy to remove. Okay. Perfect. You guys are probably like, no, not perfect. You look crazy. Yeah, I do. But it's gonna be alright. We're gonna fix it. Just have more brown space on the one side. I'm gonna Who needs brown space, right? Okay, so now I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna use the shade Breezy, which is a stunning, like turquoisey shimmery shade. And I'm gonna put that on the lid such a pretty color. This palette is so beautiful. I can't wait to create more looks with it. Which I 
definitely will be doing. I think this palette definitely put Be Perfect on the map because before this palette came out and I started hearing about it, I had never, I had never heard of them before. Not that, I mean, who am I, but I just I had never heard them being talked about before either, which I have wig hair like everywhere from the different wigs I've been using. Okay. And still have swatches on my hand. I, I just filmed a haul video before this. So I was swatching some stuff. And you never realize like how pigmented certain items are. Until you can't get them off your hand. Okay. I'll add accents to the eyes after I do my foundation, which I'm going to do off camera, and I'll be right back. Okay, we are recording again. Good. So, I have done my foundation. I used my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in the correct shade. I used my Makeup Revolution Concealer, and I used my Peach Perfect Powder to set my face. So now we're back in Bussiness. Okay, so I'm going to go in with my BH Cosmetics blush palette. And I'm going to do a lot of blush. Because I'm an ice cream girl. Okay, that's a bit much. Even for, we're going to do a lot. But we'll tone it down. Unless I'm going to be a doll. Even for a doll, that's a lot. It's a very pigmented blush, and this blush brush really works. So. In my last video, I kind of just put blush everywhere instead of doing bronzer. And I think I might do that again today. Where did my, where did my beauty sponge just go? Am I going crazy? Okay, fine. I'll just use this one then. Fine. Okay. We're just gonna it's gonna pat over it a little bit and just kinda do this. Okay. It still looks intense, but that's alright. We want intense. So I'm going to go back in with distortion. Back in. Haven't been in it yet other than for my brows. And I'm just going to put a little bit of this on the lids. Because why not? We need some glitter. Just adds a little bit of shimmer to the lid. More shimmer. Okay, and I'm trying to decide, but I think I want to do it. I'm going to take my white liner from NYX, and I'm just going to put a line. This makes me nervous. Yep, and rightfully so. For some reason, this liner, it just gets thicker. I mean, I know I'm like kind of laying it on its side, but like, I don't know. I feel like the, um, applicator just isn't the best and I feel like I just hmm. well all right so 
so I'm going to fix that and I'll be right back. Okay, I just fixed it and it literally did not take off the eyeshadow because that eye liner is so flaky that it literally pretty much just flaked right off. So, yeah. I'm going to definitely get the Space Panda um, palette, uh, Hydra Liner from Suva Beauty because that's what people use most of the time when I see it work out well. So, oh, and that just had, I was like, oh, I ruined the look. All right, so I'm going in with Chaos, which is the blue liner in my waterline. liner and then I'm going to take I just had my brush okay. the same little domed crease brush and I'm just gonna put the blue underneath here I really thought I was going to have to refilm the whole thing. I was like, oh, no. I've done that before. Where one little thing just ruins the look. And then I'm like, well, crap. Let me see what this pink... It's a pretty pink highlighter, but I'm not going to use that today. Comment down below if you had a feeling of horror when you saw the white liner go on. Okay. So now I'm going to take my Wet n Wild Pastel Cream Color Palette. Maybe. If I can get this thingy open. Ugh, why do they make these things so hard to get open? gonna open that and it looks like this on the inside and now might be another moment of shock and horror I'm gonna take a <clears throat> Morphe M432 which is just like a flat liner brush and I'm gonna take okay, well, I'm going that off all right so I'm gonna take Yeah, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna take the blue. Wish me luck. Make sure I'm recording. Just gonna shade that in. This is melting ice cream, by the way. I got the melting ice cream idea from a girl who has a channel called Divide and Contour. And I will link it below, but she doesn't really post much i'll put her instagram as well because she doesn't post as much on her youtube channel as she does now on her instagram but all the looks she does i'm like i want to recreate that i want to recreate that i want to recreate that so And I know that this look would be pretty without this business on my face, but 
I wanted to do something with face painting, which I have another look as well, but I'm just looking in this side mirror that I have. I can see better because I can't hold my Jeffree Star mirror and do this. This is really, really good paint, face paint, considering it is wet and wild. Actually, just considering, period, it's good face paint. Do I look like an ember of kiss? Okay. <clears throat> and now, I'm gonna go in with... other palette. I did not realize that these were taped closed. Sorry. I should have. I'm going to go in with the other one and I'm going to go in with the pink. And I'm just going to go around the drips and you can set this with eyeshadow if you're going out for the night I definitely would not that I imagine anyone is gonna do this part because it looks kind of funky but that's what Halloween is about right looking funky I'm just outlining it At some point, I'm gonna recreate the exact look that she did, just cause I think it's really cool. This is why I'm not a special effects artist. Because I'm not the best at it, but. Doing my skincare tonight is going to be a task, huh? All right, I'm going to take that same brush that I was using from BoxyCharm. <clears throat> and I'm going to go into Funky. And I'm going to go around... I think, actually, setting this stuff with a loose face powder like a really finely milled one like the RCMA, RCMA no color powder would be better but now I'm stuck I'm not gonna set the blue with eyeshadow though that I'm gonna set with a powder already I've got wig crap stuck in my wig crap, wig, wig hair <laughs> stuck in my paint. Okay. Let me grab my Maybelline Master Conceal or Master something. I'll be right back. Hold on. There we go. My Maybelline Master Fix powder. This is a very, very finely milled loose powder. And it's white. Which makes me kind of nervous. But we're going to use the fluffiest brush ever. And see how this goes. I'm just going to coat the brush. And knock off all the excess. And I'm just going to... Yeah. That went really well. Phew. Okay. All right. That went actually very well. 
Okay. I'm probably gonna regret this, but okay. Now I'm gonna do these lines. gonna make kind of like sprinkles can't believe I'm trusting another one of these no I'm just kidding no the vivid brights liners are hit and miss like I really like the green one I like the purple one the blue one the dark blue one but then some of the other shades are just like the white one not so good okay so that's kind of like sprinkles I think I should go in with one more shade but I also feel like I should quit while I'm ahead but because I'm daring I'll do a little bit of the yellow Yeah, the yellow's a good one too. Okay, that's cute. Ish. All right, I'm gonna have to redo this look one time with just the eyes because it's so pretty with just the eyes and I feel like I need a little bit more glitter on my lid all right and for lips I'm gonna go in with Colourpop's Dopey that's a very nude See, again, I wish you guys could come through the screen and remind me of things because I didn't use the blush in the sugar wafer. Hmm. Well, while this is drying because I'm putting something on top of it, um, I'll use it a little bit because it's more like a blush topper because it is like a sparkly yeah, that's cute. And then I'm going to use the, um, I would lose my head if it wasn't attached, you guys. I'm going to use an eyeshadow brush and do my nose to highlight in my Cupid's bow while that's drying. And I'm going to go in with this, I think it's called Vanilla Nair. Yep. Oh, that's so cute. It's very pretty. Very blinding. I'm just gonna make myself sparkle and highlight kind of all over that blush, even though it's like covered by melting ice cream. Okay. I do like that palette. My blush palette just went. And then I'm going to go over top of this Dopey from ColourPop with Confetti from Makeup Monsters, now Menagerie Cosmetics. They still have these. This is like the UFO one, but it's nowhere near as glittery as the UFO one. But it's still pretty. I like it. Okay. So this is my take on a melted ice cream look. Let me know what you guys think down below. I know that we almost had a liner mishap, but thank goodness I was able to fix it. Ooh, this lip 
topper. Oh, it smells like lemon cream sickle or something. I don't know. Um, thank you guys so, so much for watching and thank you for being a part of Pinkoween. I'm so, so happy that you guys are loving these videos and I can't wait to see you in the next one. I love you guys. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment down below anything else you want to see on my channel. Bye guys.